Hello again, everyone. I want to weigh in on the screen issue with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Uh, I do not have mine yet, however, because I have not actually received a shipping date from Samsung, even though I did decide to pre-order it. Uh, however, I did go to Best Buy and I took a look at it, had some hands-on time with it. And I will say that the S24 Ultra, it's a beautiful phone. It's really, really you know, nice, just like the S23 Ultra, the screen is entirely flat. So if you are wondering if it has any curve at all, I did not notice it at all. It's a flat screen, so that was a great thing. What I did notice about it though, is that it didn't quite look as crisp as the S24 Plus screen. Now it could be that, you know, the S24 Plus screen is a little smaller. And it's kind of squeezing down the same resolution but the two that I saw, and they were right next to each other when you walk into the display area, uh, the S24 Ultra looked a little bit, um, I don't wanna say washed out, but it didn't look quite as good as the S24 Plus. Now, having said that, I asked the guy, there was a Samsung rep there, and I actually asked him, I go, is it just me or does it seem like the S24 Plus screen is a little crisper, a little brighter? And he said that he did in fact notice that as well. However, he had a second S24 Ultra and that screen looked better than both of the others. So the S24 Ultra, I think the two that were on, one was on display, one was also on display, but on the side. So there was one right in the front and there was S24, S24 Plus, S24 Ultra. And then they had some more on the side uh, or in just on the same display, but on the side. And we compared the two S24 Ultras and they actually looked different. So there might be some display, um, I guess, differential. Now I know Samsung makes all of the displays, but I mean, maybe they're making them in different places. They have different quality control issues. I'm not really sure. The other thing is that they are putting the anti-reflective coating. So that was one of the things that I actually noticed was that it looked a little darker. And I think Obviously, if you're putting an anti-reflective coating on the screen, that's going to impact the resolution and the brightness of the screen. So, you know, I, I don't know if, uh, I, you know, it doesn't seem like a huge deal to me. The one thing I did notice as well is that when you angled the phone um, and, you know, I'll go ahead and use the phone case box, pretending I have the phone. When you angled the phone, it actually, you, you, it looked really nice. Um, you could see a much more crisp kind of display, but you also had some privacy. It just, I can see what they were trying to do with it. Now, maybe they didn't quite pull it off for those of you who are used to like that super bright S23 Ultra, S22 Ultra Note displays of the past. Uh, and I get that. So there could be that concern, but it's not a huge deal, frankly. Uh, I think it's being, you know, it's clickbait, right? Uh, so I wouldn't worry about it so much but it is noticeable. And the other thing that's noticeable, at least from what I saw, is there was variation within just the two phones that were in that particular Best Buy. Maybe it was just that particular Best Buy, but again, uh, it's not uh, really unheard of. Now, I kind of wanted, I was thinking about it and it actually made me think about some issues that have come up in the past. So I'm actually gonna pull up a couple of articles, an article and actually a video. So the article I wanna pull up, as, um, actually, let me go ahead and just pop this here. Um, the article that I want to pull up is the is an article that was written uh, from a repair sort of blog, and it talked about the iPhone seven uh, and seven plus and eight and eight plus screens, and there were three different suppliers for the seven series and two different suppliers for the um, eight series as well as uh, the 10R and the 11. And I remember a lot of, um, you know, and then there were also different backlight uh, numbers, right? So there's backlight numbers. And they even have here, like what you kind of could look for, right? In terms of which screen goes to which phone or how you can tell what screen you had because the screen resolutions actually look different. And I do remember some of YouTubers, and I don't exactly who it was, um, don't remember exactly who it was, but they were talking about how, depending upon whether or not you got an LG screen, uh, there's this JDI screen, uh, Toshiba made the screen, uh, one of the screens. Um, it just depended upon what year it was. Sharp made some of the screens. So those were 
uh, you know, there was some variation there. So this is not unusual. So, you know, I just thought that was kind of interesting. And th- I, I do remember that coming up before. The other person I wanted to you know, sort of point out is, I don't know if you remember her, but um, Erica Griffin, she hasn't posted in two years. She has, um, uh, you know, she used to have this really great channel. It was the, uh, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. And uh, this is a, uh, there's some pictures of her. That's her with her husband there. And, you know, she, again, she hasn't posted in a couple of years. But if you remember her videos, she used to do a lot of reviews of like Samsung phones. And this was uh, an issue with the S8 Plus, and it was the red display tint, right? So, you know, she was looking at the variations in the different displays, and you can see here that, you know, this is, there's obviously some variation here. So, and and I remember her her also, like, really, like, talking about how she returned multiple phones, because she was, you know, she would do color gamut and really get into, like, the calibration of the displays, uh, because she was really sensitive to it in terms of you know what she could visually see, and um, visually see obviously, and you know again right here there's a little differential between some of the screens, and this is uh, on the Note I think it's the Note Eight or the S, the S Eight Plus, and then there were some red display tint issues and what have you, so this isn't unheard of. It's not something that hasn't happened in the past, uh, but I just think that it's kind of being overblown a little bit. I wouldn't worry about it too much. The display looks great. Is it as bright as the S23 Ultra um, or, or the S24 uh, Plus, I should say? I did not notice a difference. But when he pulled out the second Ultra, then it, it looked actually better than the Plus. So not really sure what's going on, but it just seems like, um, you know, perhaps uh, there's just some variation there, right? But anyhow... The pre-orders are still alive for a couple, I think another day. So you have one more day to decide. Um, you know, I'm, I am I didn't like the purple after all, so I went ahead and I think I'm going to pre-order the plat, uh, platinum. Is it platinum or whatever it is? Um, titanium, excuse me. The gray color. Uh, although, I, you know, I'm a little intrigued by some of the other colors. I don't know why I like the orange, but it reminds me of that Google Pixel phone that was orange and I, and I always wanted it, but I didn't quite get uh, so I was th- kind of thinking about that too. Although I do notice it's uh, the get by date is a lot sooner, so perhaps the color is not as popular as as it was in the past. But anyhow, I just wanted to kind of weigh in on that. And uh, again, I have uh, some of the cases ready to go, Taurus, couple caseology cases. But when I get the phone, I'll go ahead and and kind of review the cases, and we'll go from there. Anyhow, all right. Well, hope you're well. Hope your family's well. Uh, take care of yourself. Bye bye.